I never really knew what I wanted. I, I still, you know, in this age, sometimes I'm like, what do you want to do? Like, I still don't know because I'm a Gemini. So I never really have an answer. It's always indecisiveness for me. So at coming out of college, I didn't know what I wanted to do. What'd you major in in college? I majored, I majored in fine arts. Okay. I majored in fine arts and I, I switched my major three times. This is to all the college kids out there that don't know what they want to do and they're changing their major. It's fine. No one cares. Just do really well. I went to school and I started off as a political science major. Then I went to computer science. Then I went to communications. And finally, I landed on fine arts. And I'm so happy uh, about that because in my last two years of college, I figured out that I could do better in school if I took classes that I enjoyed. Amen. And that nurtured me, right? So like, I love the arts. I love, you know, dance. I took dance classes. I took art history. I took music history, music theory, like all the stuff that I was interested in that I never thought was or could be a major was kind of lumped into this fine arts major at Fordham University. And I excelled at that. And I loved it. So like all of the courses that I took before that, because I felt like this is what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I'm supposed to be a communications major or I'm supposed to be, you know, into political science. Horrible grades because I, I was not interested in it the way that I was when I got to, to major in fine arts. And then outside of, of, of that, I just figured law school was something that, I knew I could do. I was like, I really took the LSAT on some, like, let me see if I can get into law school. Oh, shit, you got in. <laughs> well, you should go. <laughs> that's what happened. If, you, if I'm being really honest, that's what happened. And the minute I told, of course, my mom that I did, that I wanted to, you know, go to law school, she's all excited, and my sister. So I was like, mm, not doing anything else. I might as well go. And I went at night while I worked at a music software company which is a very important job that I should talk about here. Let's hear it. Okay. So in the 90s, from 94 to 99, I had a job at a software company called Muse, right? This, this company provided the um, information. This is before the internet's blowing up, all of that, um, for Tower Records and a lot of the record stores that would have this kiosk in the record, so I don't know if you remember this, where if you needed to know information about music, you would go to this kiosk, and I want to buy this record, and you would type in, you know, uh, I, Tupac, right? Let's say, what's that song by Tupac? Oh, Keep Your Head Up. You would type it in, and all of the information from Keep Your Head Up, who, the, who you know, what record was sampled, where the, the, um, the song was recorded, who performed on the song, who did the background vocals, like all of that stuff was entered into this database. And um, I was the only hip hop person at the time or person from this culture that was working there for those years until later, right? So like in the beginning, um, basically anything that came out during 94 and 99, I physically got the CD, opened up the notes and entered all of the data. So because I have a good memory, I retained a lot of that information, right? So like when I was there when Reasonable Doubt came out, right? No one knew of Jay-Z really. You get the advanced copy, but here I have the entire, you know, credits. I'm listening to the music and I'm entering the information from that into this database, which would later be sold after the company um, was dissolved because of the internet, which would later be sold to like companies like Amazon and all of that information. So I basically retained a lot of information about music from in that time period, from in the 90s, right? Just because I had to enter this information into the um, database. And at that point, um, they started to critique music. And I started to write small annotations, small descriptions on a lot of the hip hop uh, that was coming through. And that's really how I got into writing about music because um, I had this, I lucked up on this job, this full-time job, um, entering music information. And I started to review, the, and I had to review uh, pretty much everything, right? So I had to listen to 
pretty much everything that came out during that time. Were you enjoying the job at that point? I loved that job. I sat there and listened to music all day long and just, and that's why my typing is so fast as well. Cause I was just like typing, you know, all of the credits from all of the albums that were, were coming out back then. And, and I ask you this because I actually spoke to some kids earlier, um, earlier today. And one of the things that I was helping them to understand is, you know, our journey, we don't understand it at the time. Mm -hmm. And it's so important that you stop looking ahead. You can set your goals, you can do whatever, but enjoy the journey, enjoy the ride because we haven't gotten into your full story yet. Right, right. Obviously I know it, a lot of the audience is going to learn it, but God has this thing so divinely laid out that when you look backwards, you understand, oh, I did this and it led me to that and it led me to this. So I didn't even know this part of your story right here, but it makes total sense for everything else that you've done in your career, especially the next part of your journey. So this is just amazing. And for anybody who is watching this or listening to it on audio podcasts, really embrace where you're at now. I don't think God puts us in any situations by chance. It's never random. It is always to help give you experience or expose you or put you in a position for something that is coming your way in the near future. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.